This is Jess from Art Republic and here's what's hot in the Brighton Gallery this month. This is the Aquarium 2013 by pop art legend Sir Peter Blake. It's a silkscreen signed limited edition of 100 and it's not to be confused with the earlier edition he did of the Aquarium which was a lot smaller. Peter Blake is one of Britain's most well-loved and well-known artists. He's most recognised for creating the album cover to the Beatles' Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The Aquarium was taken from Blake's well-celebrated The Classroom Suite. As usual with Blake's work, there's a great attention to detail. This piece in particular features an abundance of marine life, along with a lot of historical and quirky characters. This is A Weird Scene by Jimmy Crayon. It's a signed limited edition of 25. It's a nine layer silkscreen print, which also has foil gilding and spot glazes. Jimmy's a London born artist, but he's actually based in LA at the moment. Um, about 10 years ago, he used to work for Rarekind, customising clothing and painting art murals. Rarekind was actually the first graffiti art gallery in the UK. He's done some brilliant things in the past. He's painted live at the Tate Modern and has also painted the famous white walls of MNC Saatchi Golden Square HQ, which no artist has actually done before. He produces street art murals, music videos, prints and digital work. It's a fun and vibrant piece that really shows off his imagination. This is Monolith 5 by Sarah Shaw. It's a really nice small edition of 25, also signed by the artist. It's a gicle and silkscreen print with added glazes to recreate the effect of the original oil painting. She graduated from Falmouth College of Art, but she's based in Brighton um, and she's fairly new to us as an artist. Monolith is a series of paintings based on a glimpse of roadside flowers strapped to lampposts in memorial. She describes them as a momentary reminder of mortality. Sarah features in her work themes of beauty, history, passing of time and brevity of life. There's always an attractive use of colour and texture in her work. So check out more artists from our Brighton Gallery next month. See you then.